So today I'm doing after school snack ideas. I have three. Two of them are you make after school once you get home and one is on the go because I know a lot of times you don't even really get to go home after school. You have to go straight to a sport or dance or a club or whatever. Also, they're pretty healthy too. I mean, they're not like the most healthy. Let's be real. If you want the most healthy, just eat some vegetables and stuff. But these taste really good and they're not like terrible for you. So let's get into them. Start by just taking your zucchini, washing it, drying it, and then cutting it into little slices. Next, I'm going to take some olive oil spray and I'm just spraying it all over the pan that I'm using. And I'm just placing the zucchini down onto it. And now I'm just putting some salt and pepper on it for seasoning. And I'm just going to put this in the oven for about 5 minutes on broil. This is going to make it so just a little bit crispier. Now we are going to put some pizza sauce on the zucchini. So just put a little bit on each slice. And then put a little bit of mozzarella cheese. If you want it to be healthier, then you can use mozzarella with skim milk. And just leave that on broil until the cheese is melted how you like it. This is how I like it. Almost burned, but not quite. It's really good this way. And so after this, it's pretty much done. You can put it on a plate and let it dry a little bit. But it is so delicious and it's kind of healthy because it's zucchini. But I know cheese isn't really that healthy. <laughs> Next, we're gonna make these super yummy DIY protein bars. And these are great on the go snack. For this, you will need some whey powder, honey, oats, peanut butter, and chia seeds. So you're gonna start by adding a cup of the oats and then we're gonna take some of the whey powder and I'm putting in half a cup. Next I'm adding four tablespoons of honey. And I'm adding 16 ounces of peanut butter which was this entire jar. Yeah, that's a lot of peanut butter. So then you mix it all together, and on the website that I found this recipe, it recommended that you mix it with your hands. So you can do that if you want to. And then I'm just putting it in the pan. And you kind of just sprinkle the chia seeds on top, and then you can just press them in when you're done and put them in the oven. It's at 350 and it's just in there for about 15 minutes. And then you can take it out and I'm using a pizza cutter to cut it. Um, I actually let mine cool for a little bit, but I do regret doing that because it got kind of crumbly. So I would actually go ahead and just start cutting it right when you get it out of the oven. Try that, I don't know if it will work very well, but let me know, get back to me, okay? And then I am putting it on a plate and you've got a bunch of protein bars and these are great for on the go. You can take them if you have a sport after school, just bring them in a Ziploc bag and they're perfect. Next is a whole wheat spinach jalapeno quesadilla. This is so easy to make, you just need a jalapeno pepper, some whole wheat tortillas, some mozzarella cheese, and some baby spinach. So start by taking your jalapeno and cutting it. Video fail right here because my arm covered the entire thing. But yeah, that's it when it's done. And then I just put this in the pan because I wanted it to be a little bit crispier. And also it got the pan like tasting like jalapeno. So when you put the tortilla on it, the whole thing will taste like that. Then you just put the cheese and the jalapeno in it, and then you can put the spinach in it as well, or you can put it after. I know some people don't like spinach when it's warm. And then you put it in the pan, and this is just so easy to make. It takes like five minutes. 
and then you can put it on a plate when you're done and you can use a pizza cutter or a knife or whatever you want to cut it and it tastes really really good I love this So those are the ideas. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos from me, I actually did a healthy eating expectations versus reality video over on my collab channel just like that. So you can click here or click below. Go watch it. I mean, I've probably told you guys a bunch of times now, but it's a collab channel with me, Monica, Megan Hughes, Nikki, and May. I get this video to 5,000 likes. That would be really cool. Can we please try and do that? Oh my god, I always forget to say this. But I know that a lot of people on YouTube have a name for their subscribers, and I thought of one. Actually, Monica thought of it. And get ready for this. All right, drum roll. Shell Bays. Awesome. See you guys over on Just Like That, and I'll see you on my next video, too. Okay, bye.